Good Sunday morning, everybody. Joe at Joe's Golden Garage here. Got an issue with uh, the 98 Mercedes C320. Um, got a couple of light bulbs out we're going to change. Uh, got a, one in the back, a blinker in the front. But I have uh, been getting the ABS and BAS lights coming on on the dash. So I've been doing some research and I think I know what it is. Um, so hang tight and I'll show you what that's about. Okay, let's change these bulbs. I hope this is pretty easy. Oh, I can't. It's been a while since I've done any Mercedes light bulbs. Hell, I gotta find the hood release. Can't even find that. Yeah, this, uh, this driver's front blinker um, is out. Let's see, how easy or hard is this to get to? Okay, there's, I don't know if y'all can see this. Okay, there's the, the, that, the white circle. That's the one for the headlights. Blinker, oh, blinker's gonna be on the corner. Duh, blinker on the corner. Ah, that yellow guy. Right there. Let's see if we can get that out. Hmm, yeah. little tight quarters. Hang tight. Let me get that out. Okay, after some wiggling, we got that bulb out. Pretty simple uh, little setup. It's just a twist and pull. It was just a uh, matter of getting my hands on it. I think I've got some extras in here in my console. Let's see. Okay. So for turn signals, you need the Sylvania 2357A. And that's an amber colored bulb. So we will put that in and get it going. Okay, so the okay, so the old bulb just turns and slides out, and then we just stick the um, new bulb. It's hard to do this one-handed. As you can see, it's got the uh, little knobs on the side. Just slides in, twist it, put it back. Let's see if it works. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. She's a blinking. See if we can get her lined up in there. Back in. God, can you say impossible to see? Okay. There she is. Awesome. Let's do the tail light. Real quick guys, I wanted to show you guys something that's a little bit scary on a uh, trunk lid. Um, I've known and tinkered and fiddled and played with cars, Mercedes, all brands, Volvos, old Fords, Oldsmobile, you name it. I never realized, and this is stupid of me because I know I've seen them before, that the trunks, are held open, go up and down, and are assisted by a big spring that's mounted back up in there. It looks like a spring, kind of like on a trampoline, or yeah, that's about the best kind of spring. I, mine broke uh, on this trunk lid. I was lifting it one day and it just made a loud pow. I mean, it was so loud, it scared the crap out of me. It sounded like gunfire. But, watch. <laughs> now you see that? <laughs> I was going to give it a little push, but you don't have to. Um, it is very important to get your spring replaced in your trunk lid if it ever breaks because it will cut a head, arm, small children, 
pets, whatever. It comes down like a freaking guillotine, man. <laughs> so, and it's hard as hell to open. Like, I doubt I'll be able to get it back up one-handed. Oh, God. I mean, I'm serious. This is stupid. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to lay my phone down. Okay. I couldn't get it going without two hands. Okay, this is really heavy. Now, you never knew your trunk lid was so freaking heavy. You never knew. Because that spring has always been there for you. And it'll, um, without the spring, it'll only stay up for just a few minutes before it eases its way down. But I'm going to help it a little bit so you can see that again. Let's see if it's... Okay, it's going to go. <laughs> so, people, <laughs> be mindful of the spring. Uh, assist your uh, trunk lid. I am uh, ordered one that I've got coming. I'm going to try and put it in myself, but I don't know if I can or not. Anyway, we got to replace this brake light. I'm going to move on to that. Now, the proper way to hold your trunk lid up if your spring is broken is a firearm, right? That's good and safe. Okay, brake light. Now look at this, this is so easy. I just twist that little knob right there, that little white one, and this whole panel just, voila, falls out. Gotta replace this guy right here. Let's see if he'll come out one-handed. Sometimes these little guys are a little hard. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Got us a fresh bulb. Again, it just goes in, poop, and you twist it, and it locks into place. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, got the new bulb in there. Uh, the bulb I used, I had to open a new package, is a Sylvania 7506. Also fits 1073. So these bulbs, are pretty common across all the Mercedes lines. Um, so anyway, a little how-to video of some basic maintenance there. Um, I got to get the oil changed in this thing. Um, oh yeah, I've also got the problem with the, uh, let's see if it comes on. It's very sporadic. I've got the BAS and the ABS lights coming on over here in the dash. See them right there on startup? Well, sometimes this thing. Okay. No, well, they're out for right now. Well, what I found it was related to is the brake switch for the brake pedal. Uh, I was noticing that some of my brake lights were not working. That one up, I don't know if you can see it. That one up top is working. And I guess the other two are. Huh. No lights for right now. But uh, I'll uh, put a picture in the video uh, of a brake switch. It goes behind the brake pedal down there. Um, it's like $6 part. Um, ordered it off of uh, eBay. Should be here in a couple of days. And apparently that will take care of the ABS BAS lights coming on. Um, and the faulty switch also causes your brake lights not to work at all. So, not only is it important to replace just so you can get the warnings off your dash, it's important to replace it uh, because your brake lights don't work and you don't know it. I didn't realize it until my wife was back in this thing in the garage yesterday um, and I noticed there were no brake lights. So anyway, uh, I'll show a picture of that part. I got it coming and when it gets here, We'll film how to replace it. Anyway, y'all have a good day. We'll see you next time. Peace.